This wine has not yet made a name for itself outside of Sicily, but that is about to change. This is a well-known wine, but made in a very unusual way. A classic, familiar, and an old favorite. In this red wine selection, we have three very different wines, each carefully selected to make your flight more enjoyable. This wine is from Sicily, the home of the Mafia, who have been known to make money from protection rackets. But the group of wine growers who make this wine have signed up to a protest movement where they refuse to pay this protection money. As proof of this brave decision, they have their logo on the side of the label. The wine itself is a blend 50-50 Cabernet Sauvignon and Nero d'Avola. The Nero d'Avola is really only known in Sicily where it thrives in the hot, arid climate. This wine has got a vibrant purple hue on the nose. This smells delicious with those red fruits, prunes, damsons, blueberries. And on the palate, it's very fresh. It still delivers those rich red fruits, but it's got a coolness, which I find extraordinary, bearing in mind where it actually comes from in the first place, but it doesn't feel hot. It doesn't feel as though it's a wine from a, a hot area, and that's because of the narrow Darfala. The Mayu Carmenere is from a fairly remote part of Chile on the borders with the Atacama Desert. The grape variety is Carmenere, which is the signature red wine grape variety of Chile, which actually originated in Bordeaux. Rather more unusual wine in the trio, not because it's Chilean, but because the way it's made. The winemaker is of an Italian background and he makes the wine in a rapasso method. This is a technique where up to 20% of the bunches are twisted on the vine, thus severing the supply of water, which then dries out the grapes. These dry grapes have tremendous concentration of flavour, which, when added to the rest of the grapes, give a very unique taste. You can see from the colour, it is a rich, dark red, almost garnet in colour, uh, on the nose. You can smell it's a lovely, smoky, dried raisiny style of wine, really rich and enticing. On the palate, those rich raisins come through, combined with the red fruits. It's got a lot of power behind it packed with flavour, but not too heavy. Our final wine is from Bordeaux, Chateau Tour de Bio, from the area of saint foy le grand a classic traditional style of wine and a favourite to many. It is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, and it is a vieille vine wine, which means that the average age of the vines is approximately 35 to 40 years old. These older vines are less prolific than a younger vine, but the quality grapes at harvest time are grapes of a superior quality. On the nose, lovely rich black currants. I can also smell it's been in oak casks, and we know this wine has been aged in oak barrels for 18 months. On the palate, it is well structured. It's got nice ripe tannins to it. Still get those black currants coming through and it is a weighty wine, but it's not a heavy wine. Each of these red wines have been chosen to accompany your food. Our first wine, the Yaki, goes very well with red meats and unsurprisingly for an Italian wine, it would go very well with pasta with a tomato sauce. The Chilean Mayu Carmenere would go very well with stronger flavoured red meats. And finally, the Red Bordeaux Chateau Tour de Biot would go very well with red meats, especially lamb, and also some hard cheeses. Three very different wines, carefully selected, and we hope you enjoy them.